Hey guys, Art of Weapons here. Today I have the Wartech Nightmare in Desert Camo. Uh, and this is a really cool knife. In my opinion, one of the coolest looking Wartech knives. Um, it's got a spring assist, liner lock, steel liner. Uh, holds very well. Very solid, very solid knife. Super heavy, heavy duty uh, feeling. Feels very significant. Um, super sharp. It's got that 1065. Uh, carbon steel. Um, the clip isn't the strongest ever, but it, it'll do its job. Uh, it's got the aluminum, solid aluminum handle. You know, some of them, uh, very few, but like some TAC forces have a, a hollow aluminum, which I don't like that at all. Uh, it just feels cheap, but this is a solid aluminum handle. Um, and uh, 3.75 inch long blade, 4.5 inch aluminum handle. Uh, the flip out is nice, um, but it does take some effort on this one. Um, you know, I think maybe it just needs to get worked in a little bit, uh, but it flips out good. It's got the, it's the survival or the um, rescue knife, so it has that useless uh, seatbelt cutter in it, which I love the idea of that, I love the look of it, but honestly, they don't cut seatbelts. So use your blade to cut the seatbelt. This will cut it like butter, especially with that serration. Um, I do love the glass breaker though, you know, that will pop a window first try, no problem. So uh, again, the Wartech. Uh, Desert Camo Nightmare, um, and I do like this whole Nightmare line. Uh, flips out good, again, liner lock works good, feels solid in the hand. Um, so I think for the uh, Wartech line, I'm a big fan of the Wartech 1065 blades. I would give this, uh, put it up there as an 8, an 8 in the Wartech. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you next time.